this bridge is being demolished to make way for a new subway stop in the Greater Toronto Area. There are currently multiple expansion projects underway on Toronto's subway lines. And one of these is the Scarborough Subway Extension. Expanding farther into the suburb, this project will add 7.8 kilometers onto the east end of Line 2 and have approximately 105,000 daily boardings. To make way for one of the new stops at Scarborough Centre, the Progress Avenue Bridge needs to be demolished. AIM Delsen had been subcontracted to head up the demo. And the approaching Labor Day weekend of 2024 is a perfect opportunity to have minimal impact on commuters. Quite the work uh, for cutout ahead of us. Full demolition of the bridge deck that you see behind me and it's gonna be a 24 hour all hands on deck operation from uh, everyone around the company. Basically what's involved in this project is that we'll have uh, 12 excavators, four on the north side of McCowan, four on the south side of McCowan, two on the east side of the abutment on Progress Ave, and then two on the west side of the abutment on Progress Ave. We're gonna be demolishing this bridge deck with a bunch of hammers, all hammering away until it's all gone. I've worked really hard uh, together with the safety team and making sure that all the necessary measures are in place, all the controls are in place to take on this project safely. It's going to take a lot of power and that's why we got some of the best operating some big pieces of equipment to take this down. Before the machines dig into this bridge, if you enjoy our content and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. On Friday night, the road is closed at 11 p.m. and the crew begins the prep work. This includes putting down a layer of dirt to protect the road, sidewalk, multiple catch basins and manholes. By 3 a.m. the crew is ready to go and Delsan throws their first punch. Following the plan meticulously, this structure doesn't stand a chance against the seasoned Delsan crew. As the sun begins to rise, the 30-person night shift swaps out without missing a beat. It's 8.40 in the morning and as you can see, a lot of the bridge has been chewed up. It took some time with the preparation, but the work is well underway. We got some dust control going on. We got some water tankers set up on each side of the bridge and you got currently 12 machines hammering away at the bridge right now. The guys are doing great. They're pumped. The adrenaline rushing, you know, everyone's pumped to be part of the project. It's definitely on schedule, it's looking good, and progress is looking great. The total weight of all the concrete in this demo is 6,500 tons. But Delsen doesn't hesitate or waver, and they continue to press on without delay. At 5 p.m. on Saturday, the bridge is on the ground, but there's still lots of work to be done. Delsan begins the meticulous task of moving all the material off the road, where it can be later crushed and trucked away. By midday Sunday, the road is clear. Now, another subcontractor can repave the center lane and install the new street lights. By Tuesday morning at 5 a.m., the road is reopened to traffic once again. Over the last three days, Delsen worked diligently and efficiently to bring this concrete structure to the ground and clear the road for the work week ahead. Thanks to the hard work of the crew, this site is now one step closer to completing its new subway stop. 
helping to expand Toronto's transit system and connect the communities 